All right, next pizza, one of my favorites. This is a caramelized onion, a bacon, goat cheese. The Baconator. Same size, thin crust. Got our six ounce, six ounce dough, six and a half, whatever that come out to. Same as before, work that nice. Get that circle going. Start working it. Same as before, a little cornmeal underneath. Make sure it slides real good. Olive oil. Zorro. Salt, pepper. Chopped garlic. Spread that all on that real nice. A little Parmesan blend. Got fine grated and some coarse grated. I kind of mix it up when I grate it. We're going to do our uh, caramelized onions. Spread them out. Just regular uh, yellow Spanish onions. Caramelize them down. And a little bacon grease. And uh, extra virgin olive oil. Enough of that. Go back to our house cheese blend. Not too much, just a little bit of this. Just dusting. Not even a handful. Somewhere to go on with that bacon. About a half a pack of bacon. Good thick sliced. that around. And we got our goat cheese, herb goat cheese, crumbles. These are uh, basil. Usually I buy the logs and cut them up, but I figured I'd try these this time. So we get goat cheese. That's why we kind of went light on the other cheese. Because we're going to put this whole, whole shebang on there. Mmm. Oh my my, this is looking good. So that's the uh, caramelized onion, bacon, and goat cheese pizza. We're going to check out in the wood-fired oven. Okay, we're going to do that caramelized onion, bacon, and uh, goat cheese pizza. Brush that hearth down a little. Okay. Same as before, keep her spinning. Go on one side towards the fire too long, it'll burn the edge. Kind of go on this side a little. Try to rotate too. You cook a pizza here, it's going to kind of suck the heat out of the bricks. Then you want to rotate, maybe move it over a little. It's going to be a lot hotter over there. About done. We're gonna pull that out. Get 
Put a pearl on the top. There you have it. Basement Gourmet. Caramelized onion, bacon, goat cheese pizza.